Well, hello once again, and welcome back to All Access Pass. I'm your cruise host, Jason, and here we are on the final day of this cruise. Very glad to have you all with us, and uh, let's jump right into it. I'm very excited to have this young woman out here with me. Put your hands together and welcome to the stage the legendary Ms. Dee Dee Sharp. It's a. It's just. That's why we brought your. We brought yeah, your, your cover up. They cover up. I'm old. That's why I'm. <laughs> it's a state of mind. Woo! Yeah. Get in there. That get feels in there. Good. There you go. Okay. <laughs> we got your coffee too, so you're all thank warmed you. up. You're thank set you. to go. Oh. First and foremost, thank you so much for taking the time to do Not this with me. Not a problem. Not a problem. How have you been so far? How's uh, how are you finding the ship? It's wonderful. I mean, everybody is so friendly. And so sweet. They are, I mean, you guys are unbelievable. You have come up to me and said, would you mind, Miss Sharp? Call me Dee Dee, okay? <laughs> it, it's Dee Dee. And then you guys have been unbelievably gracious. When you saw me eating, you laid the whatever, the, the, the CD or whatever it was you wanted me to sign, and I said, this is great. And then you waited until I finished eating. And then I signed whatever you wanted. You stopped me in the hallway. You stopped me in, the, in, in whatever I'm doing. And I've, I've been, it's just, I mean, it was wonderful. How did you enjoy the show? <laughs> How did you guys, in, I mean, did you, are, were you really shocked when you saw me sit down to the piano? I was. What? I was. Really? I was. I, I wasn't aware. I, I knew you played, yeah. but I didn't know you played like that, I guess. Forgive, <laughs> forgive that term. Forgive that phrase. <laughs> How did you like the song? <laughs> Will you still love me tomorrow? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Who did the arrangements of that? I did. You did that arrangement yourself? I did the oh. arrangement. I did the, the entire arrangement. I actually write. I write songs. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote Happy About the Whole Thing, which is one of the Gamble and Huff songs that uh, was the earlier album for mm -hmm. me. Uh, back in 19, what was it? Sharf, 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 sharf. No, we don't need hey, to date I it. don't, I don't care. Care. 70, no, no, 79, 80. That's when I wrote that song called Happy About the Whole Thing. And we wrote a, a whole lot of different things, um, my ex-husband and I. Um, now, my current husband, he can't sing a lick, bless his heart. Bless his cotton socks. Oh, he's the bless his heart. He can't sing a lick. He can dance a little bit, bless his heart. But, you know, he's an attorney. He doesn't do anything. He's but, all right, though. Yeah, he's, he, you know, he's not. But guess what? He does help me a lot. He doesn't do criminal law, but he does everything else. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would have been concerned about you if he helped you a lot and did criminal law. That would have. He doesn't do criminal. That might have been this a more, a more an exciting interview at that point. We might have gotten into a whole new level of stuff there. No, he doesn't do criminal. He doesn't do criminal, but he does everything else. And how did you meet your uh, your current husband? My husband. Yes. Oh, we've been together for twenty years now. Um, it's wonderful. Yeah. Um. I met him through a girlfriend of mine. I needed an attorney at the time. Cl and Apparently. She said, yeah, she said, um, I've got just the attorney for you. I said, uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't know. She said, yeah, he's a good guy. Well, we have been together since 1994. We met, and <laughs> he. W we talked. The, uh, first of all, I had called him numerous times, and he never returned my call. So I called him the very last Playing time. Playing hard to get. Yeah, uh -huh. the very last time. I said, "Listen, <laughs> if you do not call me." Tonight, I go to bed early, and I get up early. I go to bed 9.30, 10 o'clock, okay? 
Well, he had been in trial for the past three weeks, but I didn't know that. And he finally called. He said, it's 8.30, quarter nine. I'm calling this lady. So he called me. And ironically, <laughs> he never, ever saw me. We only talked on the phone. We talked for over two hours. And he said, I'm sorry, but I can't take you as a client. And I said, oh, well, why the hell not? <laughs> He said, I want to date you. <laughs> I said, you don't know me. You said, I just need a lawyer. I said, That's right. That's it. I said, all I need is a lawyer. He said, I don't want to be your attorney. I want to date you. Well, we started dating on February 14th. Easy date to remember. Guess what? That's my wedding day. <laughs> and we got married in Jamaica, wonderful, wonderful man. Um, he's a sweetheart, and we have been together. He has not left my side in 20 years. That's wonderful, that's wonderful. <laughs> I'm gonna personally interject only for a quick second because uh, my wife, I'm only married two years, but we did the exact same thing. Really? We started dating and we got married on the same day that we actually met each other. Mm -hmm. So our anniversary date is the date we actually met each other for the very first oh, time. Oh, that's good. And you got to meet my wife. My wife got to meet Oh, listen. <laughs> Your wife, let, let me tell you something. Where is she? <laughs> She's in the Where's back. Where's Brittany? She's all the way in the back. Brittany, you saved my bacon, okay? <laughs> I got to tell you something. I was so frazzled with trying to run and get ready for the show and rehearsal and two shows. And I told Brittany, I said, I have trouble with my eyelashes, honey. My hands don't work like they used to, you know? Yeah, we all there. <laughs> and she said, oh, I'm a professional makeup artist. I said, praise the Lord. <laughs> Ask and he delivers. I said, hallelujah. God, God is good, I'm telling you. <laughs> he delivers, he delivers, he delivers, he delivers. And when she said, I am a prophet, I'm like, can you please do my eyelashes? Because I, I, I don't do them real well. They, they stick, and, but she saved my bacon. And I, I, I thank you, Brittany. <laughs> I really do. She, you got a great wife, okay? Listen. Not only is she, she's pretty, and she's smart. Okay. I'm married up. I have oh, zero you get, I have Oh, zero yeah, qualms. you got that right, baby. You I, sure did. What, listen, mm -hmm. when, when yeah, you hit above your right. average, when you hit above your average, you know you're hitting above your oh, average. Um, that's you know, right. It's, that's I, right. I, I, I'm, not a, I'm not silly. Well, on the note of me being much less than my wife, uh, we're going to take a quick... <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more from the fabulous D.D. Sharp. Hey, thanks for not turning the channel and thanks for not leaving the room. We're back with more with the legendary Ms. Dee Dee Sharp. Thank you. In the break just a moment ago, we were discussing uh, being thankful. Oh, yeah. Being grateful and being thankful, especially if someone does something for you. Would yes. you mind? Um, what, I, what I was saying was tomorrow is not promised. This is on the serious side. Tomorrow is not promised to you. And you should be grateful for everything. I am grateful. When I, when I put my foot on the floor in the morning, I thank the Lord. When I lay down at night, I thank the Lord. Because he's good. His mercy endures forever. And guess what? Tomorrow is not promised. So if you feel someone has done you something and done something special, even if they don't, let them know it. Um, I just told Laverne, um, I love her. She's my manager. She's crazy, but I do love her. Um, she's just, in the audience. Yeah, she knows. Uh, I just told her today, I said, you know, sometimes you don't say it, and I don't think I say it enough, but I really appreciate you. And she said, I know. I said, thank you but I'm grateful. You have to be grateful for every day. Every day. Every day. To God be the glory. That's what I say. 
I, I think then I will, I think it's an easy steal for me. It's low hanging fruit to say that allow me on behalf of the audience, and I'm sure the audience will, will join in to say thank you for what you gave to us this cruise. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate it. You, you chose to be here with us, you know, you have options in yeah, life. You do, yeah. and you chose to come out to the malt shop cruise. When the negotiations were happening and the phone call came through, what was your thoughts about coming out to do this? Um, a year ago. Yeah, about a year ago. A year ago. Um, I said, well, I've never done a malt shop cruise. In all these years, I've never done a malt shop cruise. I said, well, the first time for everything. <laughs> And um, I said, as long as it's not hurricane season, <laughs> thank you, Lord. It, it just, it just, it tipped me. I mean, it's just you slid on by. <laughs> thank you, because <laughs> I couldn't handle that. Uh, what happened to Dion? I couldn't handle it. But at any rate, um, <laughs> but I, I, I was really happy, and I really want to do it again. I think I. Uh I know we'd love to have you. I've, I've, I've had the opportunity to interview some wonderful people, one of them being, uh, I'm sure he's a friend of yours, Mr. Chubby Checker. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. I know you, you know you've worked. Tell me about your relationship. You obviously cut a record together. Tell me yeah, about it. Yeah, we did slow, slow twisting together. Now, when I wasn't Dee, Dee Sharp then, mm -hmm. I was just a 15 year old background singer who worked with Will Award, the Clara Ward sister. I loved Clara. And they pulled me out of the group to say, to sing background with Chubby. They didn't know what they wanted. And, uh, and they said, well, this is the track, and um, this is the way a song goes. And I'm like, mm-hmm. And he said, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's great, that's great. They didn't know what they were talking about because I didn't know what I was talking about either. <laughs> <laughs> but I read it, you know, the chart, I read it, and it was wonderful. And when we did that, we became friends. And Chubby and I, he says that we're doing life together. And I agree with him. He is the craziest man in the world. I'm serious where he's nuts. But I love him to death. I love him to life, not to death. I love him to life. He came to my birthday party about a couple of months ago, and I was shocked because he brought his wife, Rena, and I was shocked. I said, what are, what, you're here. Charlie Thomas, Chubby Checker, the Coasters, the Times, um, Bunny Sigler, um, who else am I forgetting? Stevie from New Orleans. They all came to my birthday party. It was wonderful. That's the kind of birthday party that everybody wants to go to. <laughs> it was wonderful. I mean, everybody got to sing. Um, Corky Warren, who is also a friend of mine, he has a, a TV show, a uh, local TV show. He said, they all want to come because they love you, Dee Dee. And Absolutely. I said, oh my God, this is wonderful. We, we were playing, Bunny was playing the key, Bunny was playing the drums, I was playing the keys, Charlie Thomas was doing, uh, Charlie Thomas was singing, Under the Boardwalk. We had a ball. Stevie was playing bass, Stevie from New Orleans was playing bass, and um, it was just, it was just wonderful. I mean, Chubby sang. It was it was crazy. When he was here, and anyone, I, I know there's a handful that were here last year. Uh, at, at last year's cruise, he did he performed twice in one night, at, and he did two full shows. Chubby does not slow down. Mm -mm. He doesn't no. stop. There's not even a break between songs. No. no. He goes over an hour, two shows, and blasts through. Well, that's, that's normally what we all do. Sh I'm just impressed. With I it. mean, we normally do, I do an hour and a half show, normally, an hour and a half show, and I don't stop either. <laughs> I don't even do a God costume break. I don't do a costume change. The only thing I have is water, and not, 
ice water, just bottled water, Tap, yeah. temp, room, temperature room temperature water. Uh, we normally do that. The times, they're normally an hour and a half. Everybody, uh, the soul survivors, they normally an hour, hour and a half. But we all are accustomed to doing an hour and a half. So now, this show, ha, 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 yeah. it was Laughing. a breeze. It was, it was a breeze. I mean, the only thing, the only thing I couldn't eat, I don't eat before I sing. Mm. And I was starving. I mean, really starving. I hadn't had anything since 7 o'clock that morning. And I didn't eat anything until after the show, the second show. So 10, 10, 30, you're looking That's at right. it. That's yeah. right. And I said, give me a steak. <laughs> I want it thick. <laughs> I want it big. <laughs> and they were laughing at me, but I didn't care. <laughs> I, I, I ate the steak, and then I went up to my room. Um, I did not stop until the rehearsal is done, the, the, you know, rehearsal, they call it sound check, all right? But it's really a rehearsal. Rehearsal's crazy. And when I do a bad rehearsal, I know the show's gonna be dynamite. That, that's, that, that's often my what cue. they say, yeah. Yeah, that, that's my, that's bad rehearsal, killer dynamite sh show. show. And that was, uh, it was just wonderful. What do you attribute uh, all the stars that, that, that are in your era and that you're familiar with and that you work so closely with, what do you attribute the work ethic to? I feel like all of you have this epic, epic work ethic. And I don't know that that's always present in a lot of what we well, see truthfully, na now. The, the today's um, singers, first of all, <laughs> I got to say it. Choose your words carefully. <coughs> I know. Uh, yeah, I, uh, choose you know, carefully, Didi. I, I speak the truth, okay? I know, that's why I'm telling you. Choose I speak carefully. the truth. We don't have uh, a 10 second delay on this if, camera. Uh, you know, if you if you want to sugarcoat stuff from me, you're, you're sadly mistaken. <coughs> they have no respect for our generation. They do not realize that if it were not for us, they wouldn't be here. We paved the way for them. And I mean, I, I love the artist of today. I really do. I love Beyonce. I love uh, Mary J. Blige, John Legend. Um, but they don't give us the respect that we're due. And that bothers me sometimes. Um, the work ethic, to answer your original question, the work ethic. ethic yes, ma'am. We are. We love what we do. It's more than a job to us. We try and try to perfect our craft. Now, if you saw me, like five years ago, and then you see me now, I'm much better. You get. Um, it, it, it just comes with, I don't know whether it comes with age or whether it's com coming from you, you know, a, a, a prospectus of energy. So I, I, I have no idea. All I know is I love what I do. I love what I do. And the Times, the Orleans, the Soul Survivors, they love what they do too. And it shows. It Absolutely. shows. Absolutely. On that note, I'm gonna I want to go a little farther into this, but before we do, I'm gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back with more with the wonderful Dee Dee Sharp. Hey, and welcome back. Not only for our last segment with Ms. Dee Dee Sharp, but also the last segment of the cruise. Thanks for not turning the channel, and thanks for not leaving the room. Uh, you, you spoke of your work ethic, and you to to told us a little bit about the the artists of today. What would you tell the artists of today? If, if you could, if you knew every one of them could hear you at the exact same moment, if you could do a simultaneous broadcast and every artist could hear it, what would you say? Respect your elders. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Respect your elders because you don't know what we went through to get here and you're climbing up on our backs. I, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna paraphrase and, and misquote her a little bit, but uh, Dionne Warwick, when she was doing the interview, she said something very similar. She said, uh, "I don't want you to forget that there wouldn't be a new school Hallelujah. if there wasn't an old school." Hallelujah! That's the truth. That is the truth. That is the truth. So if I could flip that around a little bit and ask you, what advice did you get when you were just starting out? You mentioned being just a young girl getting asked to sing with Chubb. Who gave you some advice and what advice did you get that, uh, that helped shape you in, into who you are? And, and My mother are. always told me, remember and respect yourself. And I've tried to live up to that. I mean, mom's gone on to glory now, but I've tried to live up to that. Uh, Cal Man's wife, her name was Esther. Esther told me, Didi, you're a young girl. You need to do a lot of things for you. She sent me to modeling and charm school. She sent me to acting classes. She sent me to vocal coaches so that I could perform and not embarrass the label and not embarrass the management. Of course. And um, I never did forget it. Always just, just respect, you know? Mm -hmm. You gotta respect everybody. Is it, is it, do you ever get lost in the fact that you are a legend? And do, do, you, do you ever let, do you, do you take some moments when you get out of bed and like you said, you put your feet on the ground and you go, I'm a legend. You, you, know, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> I, I you don't, don't seem like you do. That's why I'm I, asking. I don't do that. I, I mean, I'm just me. Dion LaRue Witherspoon. That's, that's just me. I, I don't do that. Um, I'm, I, you know, <laughs> you, got a, you got a praying soul here. I, I pray every day, sometimes all day long. I even prayed f before this interview and asked God to just take me through it and allow me to be me. I was sitting out on the, on the veranda or whatever, uh, mm, the balcony. The balcony. I had my feet up because my, my knees are sort of crazy. Um, and I said, I said, Lord, I thank you, first of all. But I also thank you that I have a fan base. I thank you. I appreciate you that I have a fan base. And I said, Lord, just take me through this. Take me through this. Let me do what I need to do and not be ashamed of you, and I'm not gonna be ashamed of you. I'm gonna praise God wherever I am, and I don't care who knows it. <laughs> um, I, I just asked, that's, that's what I did. I, I just prayed, and, and the Lord answered. So coming into an interview with me, you prayed. Oh for yeah, Disney. I pray all the time. I pray for the shows, I prayed for a great show. Amen. And God answered. <laughs> I prayed for a great show, and God answered. I believe what I saw is, is really weird. I saw in the sky the cloud formation. It was, it looked like eyes. It looked like a nose. And I looked up at the clouds, and I said, that's my sign. That is the sign that it's going to be a blessed situation. And hey, I'm rolling right along. <laughs> you definitely are. You strike me as someone who I would describe as effortlessly, effortlessly positive. I try to be. I, I'm not a pessimist at all. I, I try to stay positive about everything. Sometimes it's very hard. Sure. I mean, it's very much difficult. However, I trust in the Lord. It's the answer to a lot of a lot of things you oh, encounter. Yes. I, I can imagine. Oh yes. Uh, now, what's it like sharing the stage and get, I should say getting to share the stage with the acts you did the other night? Obviously, you all know each other so well, and it, it is fun. a family. It was fun. It was fun. Um, I mean, because I know all these guys, and when I say guys, I mean the the girl, the the uh, Orlans as well. I know Stevie. I know you know. The Soul Survivors, um, I Know the Times, and it was fun. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. I mean, I would love to do it again and again and again and again. I have no problem, but I want to do a little longer show just to. I know some people. Give, give, I mean, <laughs> I want to. I want to do a little bit longer show so that my fans mm -hmm. can appreciate everything. Sure, I understand. Actually, I had a question. Uh, Steve from Connecticut says, one of my favorite songs is Ride. <laughs> Do you ever sing it in your show? You know what? Um, I sing it in my show this time. Um, I don't normally do that. Normally, I don't sing it uh, as much uh, on the shows I do the mashed potatoes. It's called a medley. Uh, it's called the mashed potato medley. Um, Rock me in the cradle of love, which I did. Do the bird, which I did. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Now, the reason that I meshed the two together is because it is the same song. Yeah. Mashed potatoes is the same song as gravy. Um, same keyboard lyric, same keyboard changes. And that's why I asked the audience to sing it with me. You know, sing the mashed potatoes and sing gravy. Um, but ride, I know that a lot of people love that song. But sometimes that song. It was a gold song, record, right? I mean, that was a oh million, yeah. that was a oh million yeah. song. It was, it was it, uh, thank the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, some, I mean, some people have tried to cheat me out of it, but yeah. Um, that's a whole nother story. Um, but yeah, I, I do that song. I do other songs. Uh, Stand By Me is one I play on the keyboard. Um, like, We Used to Love Me Tomorrow, I did the arrangement for that song. And then I do uh, the Gamble and Huff songs. I love those songs. I Really Love You which was, um, I really love you, baby, 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 yes, I do. I love that song. Um, I'm not in love. I'm not in love. And don't forget it. It's just a silly phrase I'm going through. I love that song. And I recorded all of this stuff for Gambling Up, my ex-husband. Bless his heart. <laughs> Bless his heart. Bless his pee picking heart. I, re I mean, I love it. <laughs> Bless his little cotton socks. <clears throat> I like that. <laughs> I like that. It's funny. But I, I, I love all those songs. But those are the songs that I normally do in my show. Um, sometimes I do one of the gospel songs from the other CD that I have now. It's called Songs of Faith. Um, I love those songs. It's just, it, it's a part of me. It, it's a part of me. I could sit here and talk to you all day, and I bet <laughs> we could all sit here and listen to you all day, but uh, we're going to wrap up the show, and then we'll allow people just a moment here to say their hellos. Uh, I want to thank you truly and honestly on behalf of not only Star Vista Live and Malt Shop Memories, but also on behalf of all of your amazing fans and all of our guests that are here. Thank you Not so only for much. being on the cruise and performing, but thank you, thank you for taking this time as hey, well. I have no day. problem. Thank you so much. Do me a favor. Please put those hands together for the one and only Ms. Dee Dee Sharp. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in, my friends. Until next year. Bye. <laughs>